What's up guys and welcome back to EBFG TV. We are coming to you live from Brian's hotel room in beautiful Denver, Colorado. We are on site for the second leg of the Western Conference Championship between the Seattle Sounders and the Colorado Rapids. Brian actually surprised me. I didn't think he was going to be here. And I walk into our hotel and here he is. So, um, Brian, we can do this in person now, which is very exciting. Yeah. What do you expect tomorrow here in Denver? Cold. Cold, yes. Yeah. Um, no, actually it's not even supposed to be that cold. Yeah, it's supposed fun. to be like mid-50s. Yeah. But um, I think we're going to see a lot of the same that we saw up there. Uh, Probably more so the like first 20, 25 minutes ish of that mm -hmm. that half, just mm -hmm. kind of back and forth, very defensive. Um, you know, a lot of counter attacks, a lot of um, just trying to beat the other team with pace, essentially. Because matchup wise, as you saw obviously on Tuesday, um, they match up really well together. Um, we got maybe a little bit lucky to come out of that with the win, mm -hmm. um, but I'm just I'm really hoping they're not going to come out there and play Ziggy Ball and try and you know just shut it down. Because that I, it just kills me. I can't. <laughs> well, just just basing it off the second leg of that Dallas game, I I don't think we're going to do no, that. No, no, I, I don't either. We definitely didn't do that in Dallas when that was almost the opportunity to try to play Ziggy Ball because yeah. Dallas is such a fast flying attacking team and the best team in the conference, best team in the MLS over the regular season. Um, so that gives me yeah, not anymore. <laughs> Um, that gives me hope that we're not going to play Ziggy Ball tomorrow. And, yeah. and as Brian Schmetzer said in his post-practice comments today, the club is treating this game like a final, which like almost gave me goosebumps when I read it. I mean, that's that, that's the attitude you want to hear. It is the attitude you want to hear, and that attitude is something that like we 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 didn't have earlier, like in the season. Like yeah. I was telling my dad um, four months ago, if you would have been like in November, you're going to be in Denver for the second leg of the Western Conference final, I probably would have like slapped him in the face. Oh yeah, no, and been sure. like, look, dad. You don't know anything about soccer. <laughs> Go watch the Cardinals play or something. The season's depressing enough. Yeah, the season's worse. depressing <laughs> enough. Don't try to get my hopes up. But, like, it's amazing that we're here, and I really don't think they're going to go play Ziggy Ball tomorrow. No, um, I, I don't either. I was just saying that's kind of my, like, yeah, my yeah. nightmare. Piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is the worst-case scenario. Yeah. I think they're going to play Schmetzer Ball, which is fun. Yeah. And might require going down a goal early. <laughs> um, let's, yeah. But let's not do not that. Not do that yeah. just for the sake of my nerves, please. Yeah. Altitude. Do you think altitude is going to play a factor in the game tomorrow? Maybe a little bit um, for the, not for guys like, you know, Ozzy and Jordan and, and Roldan who can just run and run and run and mm -hmm. run. Uh, but maybe for the slightly older guys, Chad and Mears and um, Zach Scott, if he plays, you know, those type of players, maybe it'll mm -hmm. affect them a little more towards the end of the game. Mm -hmm. But I mean, they're, they're professionals and we have some of the best fitness guys in the, in the league, if not the world, mm -hmm. you know, working for the Sounders. So I can't imagine it's going to be too much of an effect on the team. I did think it was very interesting. I kind of expected the team to like fly up here yesterday and like get a day of practice in the altitude. Mm -hmm. um, but as Don Ruiz so nicely told me on Twitter, um, the team actually trained in Seattle this morning and then flew up to Colorado today because they believe, oh, really? yeah, they believe that that what's best for them is to spend as, as little time um, in the altitude in that like high altitude environment as possible. Um, I guess which I, I thought very that. interesting, and it's one of those things where like they know way more than I do. Yeah, obviously. yeah. Like this is their job. They're like sports science people. Um, so I trust them, and I, and I, I, I honestly, I kind of like the move, um, just because it's kind of a bold move that I don't know if everyone would make to like. Yeah, no, stay in most Seattle teams do the opposite. Yeah, they exactly. Try to get acclimated. Yeah, exactly. So um, that's a that's a bold move, and I mean, it's it's a big game, and, and it's I, a bold I, strategy, Cotton. <laughs> it's a bold Season strategy. Pays off for him. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think the altitude could play a factor, as you said, late in the game. Mm -hmm. um, the Rapids manager was was speaking about he wants um, us to be asphyxiated in the 60th minute, I think is the direct quote um, that he said in Seattle after the game on Tuesday. But um, I'm, I'm hoping that we aren't, obviously, because yeah. um, when games get like that, where you can tell one team is like very tired and getting mm -hmm. run down, it's not fun to watch, especially when you're a fan of that team. Yeah, and I mean, that was, when, that was Kansas City, our first ever yeah, vlog yeah. for this channel. And uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't play a factor. I'm hoping we have the game wrapped up by the time it would play a factor. That would be nice. And we yeah, have to get a couple of wiggles up. there. For sure, for sure. Not have to worry about it. All right, so finally, let's do predictions. Brian, what do you expect from Dick Sporting Goods Park? I'm going to go a little more... I've predicted wins, I think, yeah. almost every single time. I'm going to so. say one to one. Okay, we even predicted wins in Kansas City, so I mean. <laughs> yeah, well, that may have been a little. We were like, optimistic. this is the turning point. It was the turning point, but Just not, not that we turning it, point. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, I, I'm hoping for one one, so I'm going to predict one one. Um, because it sees us through to the final. And that's, yeah. at the end of the day, that's all I want. I don't care if it's like. 4-4, four, four, would that put us through? It would, right? Any any draw would put us through, yeah. Cool, well, yeah, if it's 4-4, four, four, I'm, I'm cool with it. Um, but yeah, any result that'll put us through, I am 100% happy with. 
because Brian, the Seattle Sounders are really, really close to the NLS Cup final. I know, I want, I want it so bad. I want it so bad. I don't care if it's in Toronto, I don't care if it's in Seattle, I don't care if they play at a neutral site in Poland. I'm gonna be there. I mean, I would prefer that they didn't play it in Poland. That'd be wild. Could you imagine? I mean, I'd still go. We got really off topic really quickly. <laughs> We're good at that. We are good at that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching EBFG TV as always. We will see you after the match tomorrow for hopefully what is a very, very exciting... Very fun fan cams. Yeah, some very fun review. fan cams, some very fun match reviews, and a really fun uh, match day, away day experience vlog. So, thank you so much for watching as always. Like, comment, subscribe, down below, all that stuff. We'll see you later.